This is Hollyland's new wireless intercom system, which is the Solidcom M1. It's got eight belt packs and a base station in it, and you can cascade it to multiple units and you can keep adding on eight at a time. The interface itself is really simple. There's just five buttons on the front here. If I hit left and right, it's gonna jump through the groups. And then we come back to the home screen, I can see the battery level of each of the headsets and any that are off are saying lost. If I press and hold this stop button or whatever it is in the middle, and bring up the menu. We can go into network, we can turn on the Wi-Fi. The password is 125678, which is not very original. And this is where you're also gonna find the IP address. It's got a master slave setting, four wire settings, language, English and Chinese. And then I can come into groups and I can either select one group or else I can go into two groups or else I can come into customize. This is actually really easy to move around. So if for example, belt pack one, I just wanted to add that to group B and I wanted to add it to group C and then maybe I wanted to add pack four to group C as well. You can just design these groups the way you want. And then we got two wire settings, reset and info. So as well as the front plate, this unit can also connect via a phone app and also via the web browser. So I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm gonna bring in my laptop. For ease of use, I'm gonna use a USB-C to um, ethernet hub with a, just a short cable to keep things simple. The power brick that this SolidCom comes with has a data in point. So I can plug that in there and then that is collecting the power, injecting that into the ethernet line and then that is going into the unit. So very nice, just one unit for um, networking and also for the power. I go to our system preferences and to our network and I've got a few things connected here, Wi-Fi and I'm connected to the ATEM Mini Extreme to record this onto. Uh, but this one here, USB hub, um, I'm gonna set this to manually. So if I go back to this unit, to the network settings, so the IP address for this unit is 192.168.218.10, but for my computer, I'm gonna set it to .9. And then we're gonna go into the router here, 192.168.218, that's the important part. Router, which can be one, I'll copy that that in here and we're going to make it 192.168.218.10 is the device and boom here we are via an ethernet connection um chinese i'm gonna to have to guess this one this is becoming very international i've got an australian in the us with a, a european plug trying to read chinese the password is here which is one two three four five six seven eight i'm gonna guess it's admin Cool. All right, so we're in, um, and, and it is more Chinese. Um, English, uh, there we go. English. Okay, so I've had a little bit of a play around and I think I've found my way through this. This middle tab here is group, same as you can do on the unit. You can go through and assign battery packs to different groups. Make sure you come down here and go assign, otherwise it's not going to save that. Under battery pack, I think I can label this. What's David? Confirm. David, group one. This battery pack page is a bit funny. I really wish I'd use something more like a matrix here in the group page. Visually, it's very easy to see like what is turned on, what is not turned on. What I don't see on the group page is whether or not the, the talk or listen function is on. So that'd be nice to bring that into the matrix if you guys can do that. On the battery pack page for each device, you can select that. So group A, I could unassign it and then I have to go assign, confirm. And so if I go back to this group page, you can see that the, the A for battery pack one has been switched off. I don't know, a little funky. Um, what you can do is multi-select. So you could go select all and then you could assign them to group A and you could set it to either um, talk and listen or no talk and listen, which probably should be the other way around in terms of like, you can listen and talk or you can listen and not talk. Um, so click like that. And then for each of these things, make sure you click assign and confirm. I'm not gonna do that just in case I mess up something with my battery pack six that is recording this. Um, under the settings page, we've got the master settings. So master device, slave device. Um, you got your two wire settings here, four wire settings. Network settings, recommend you go in and change your password because the default one, 125678, is not very secure. And the same with the web login there. Uh, language, reset, and the firmware upgrade is where you come in to 
upload a file, I suppose. So what's handy about the network settings is that if this is set up somewhere and you, you can't actually get up and reach the panel, um, this will be on the network. Normally I would actually plug this into the network directly. It's just easier to plug it straight into my computer with this adapter at the moment uh, for the purposes of having everything on this desk. Let's jump over to the mobile app. So Hollyland also has an app called Solicom, which you can download from the app store. I had a little bit of play with this app. I, I don't particularly like it at the moment. I feel like it's um, sort of unfinished. I've got my network settings, I've turned that on. What I have to do is go find my Wi-Fi and I'm looking for HLD underscore something. HLD, that's the one. And the password is under network. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, recommend that you change that. New York City sirens. So as you probably know, one of the downsides of connecting directly to a unit via Wi-Fi is that that unit usually doesn't have internet in it. So at the moment, my phone is trying to access a Wi-Fi network and also saying that there's no internet coming through. Um, so I'm gonna jump into Solidcom. HLD is connected, multi-select. I, I don't quite understand here. It's got battery packs nine to 16. It feels like a sort of second unit. This should really say one to eight. If I go into group, group A, Clicking, loading, um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Click on group B, again, loading, and group C, nothing. So I feel like there are aspects of this app that aren't, actually this whole app, I just, I, I can't use it all. Also, ideally I would plug this into a switch, which is going into the router, and then my phone is connecting to the router. Ideally, that would be a better way to access that, but it's, it's there and there's Wi-Fi, so I'm guessing that with some firmware updates that something like this could be improved and worked upon. The Solidcom M1 is available now for 4,300 for a four belt pack unit or $7,000 for an eight pack unit. And there are links in the description below. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. And until next time, guys, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.